This is definitely not how I want to start my morning. As a matter of fact, this is the first time this has ever happened to me over one of my YouTube videos. I hear about this all the time when YouTubers talk about certain situations like this. And, you know, for the most part, a lot of the YouTubers that talk about it, you know, they tend to say these are allegations. We don't going and sending hate to anybody. And we will let this all play out before we start fully judging. And now someone has responded to me with my Percy Hines White video, which I made back, what, a month ago at this point, which was me basically stating this whole Percy Hines White situation is weird because there's these accusations of this and this and this, and we don't necessarily fully know what's going on. It's not that I defended Percy, but I said, let's just let things play out before we start labeling him as something that he might not even be. And I even stated at the beginning of the video, these are accusations. Take none of this as fact, just that this is what we have so far, but again, we're not going to quickly jump to conclusion in this case here. These are allegations. Nothing is set in stone right now, so just proceed with caution. Which, by the way, I'm going to say again, uh, don't go harassing people, don't go sending hate to people. That's not what this is about. This is more just me kind of responding to this in a way that most YouTubers do, but anyway. This is Michael Scholes, and I'm assuming he's like some sort of lawyer to Percy or whatever. Now, I'm not the only one that got this email. If you look, this is an email chain, and you can see the other people it was sent to. And then there's my email down at the bottom, which, yes, is free to the public for business purposes. And basically, this email says, Attention, YouTube channel operators reporting false and defamatory material, re my client Percy Hines White. The attached letter to YouTube applies with equal force and effect to all named recipients, YouTube channel users, of this email. You are therefore on specific notice that this office considers your content, re my client, to be actionable defamination of his character, and we request that you immediately delete said material and refrain from disseminating any further and future such defamatory content. Again, the request material contained in the attached letter applies to those entities listed here. We therefore expect your timely response within the time frame specified in the attached. Avoid further legal action. I'm not going to do anything with my video. I think that's my firm foot down because, again, I'm not saying that Percy did anything. I'm saying there's a possibility. That's the whole point of accusations. But, again, I said I wasn't going to jump to conclusions and start assuming things from stuff that we've heard so far. I mean, obviously, this is a serious topic. Now, again, these are all allegations, so I don't want to sit here and say, oh, he's guilty, or oh, he's not guilty. The evidence will show itself. Both people will be able to tell their sides of the story, and when more comes out and gets more definitive, then I think that's when it's nice to take a side. I think something like this should be looked into, but I don't think everybody should start jumping the gun with a lot of stuff. You know, again, Percy has yet to say anything. He has the right to say whatever. And I feel like until we get more out there, then we just have to kind of sit back and let this thing play out through the legal system. I mean, I don't know, maybe this guy didn't watch my video and is just kind of assuming, which that would be scummy. I will say the pervy Percy thing, that probably went a little bit too far. And I do apologize for that because, again, that kind of came off as me just assuming. But it was more kind of in a joking manner. Manner, but I can see how in that situation where that joke wouldn't go by well. Now, this letter thing that he attached down the bottom, I can't view this because, well, I tried and it doesn't look like I have access to it. It's pulling up pages, so again, we'll see in a minute if I have any access to this. So now it pulled up. It wasn't pulling up earlier. We have this which is basically, I guess, the official cease and desist here. As it says, Dear YouTube LLC, I represent Percy Hines White, a heretofore successful young actor currently performing in a leading role in the popular Netflix series Wednesday. Okay. Would you call that a leading role? More like a supporting role, but hey, whatever, it's how he got big and popular. So I guess, you know, you're not wrong there. It has come to my attention that your platform hosts at least 20 channels that have as its aim to sub substantively defame my client's reputation by falsely conveying in a very clear and loud voice that my client has either been formally charged with crime or that such occurrence is imminent. False. I never said he was charged with anything. 
I said he's being accused. There's a complete, complete difference there. I made sure to say he's being accused, these are accusations, because again, he hasn't been taken in, he hasn't been arrested, there's ongoing legal issues currently happening, so, therefore, you're already wrong about me at least. I don't know about the other YouTube channels, I can't speak for them, but for myself, I never said anything like that. The proof is in the pudding if you just go watch the video for yourself. Then in the second paragraph, it says, Alarmingly, these channels falsely scream to its viewers that my client stands accused, is charged, or may be charged with such heinous crimes, forcible rape, rape by drugging, statutory rape, contributing to delinquency of minors by simply repeating bare heresy and unsubstained internet dribble, all with the stated intent of doing substantial damage to my client's career and ability to earn a living. Some channels try to evade def defamination unsuccessfully by stating that this unsupported hearsay parroting are mere allegations and ask viewers to give their opinions all while fostering hate speech and encouraging harassment. You are all notified that all such allegations are patently false, untrue, defamatory, and also fall within the actionable YouTube community guidelines and policies. This whole second paragraph goes on to state again that I stand accused that he is being charged or may be charged with the, the rape, the drugging, uh, it's a statutory, all this kind of stuff. And again, I mentioned that because those were accusations. Again, for the 100th time, I never said he was charged or did this. I'm just saying this is what's coming out right now, these accusations right here. But again, maybe you missed something in the video. Maybe you're watching the wrong video. I have no idea, but... Also, the statement saying that I tried to basically end Percy's career, like him, me not wanting him to work because of this situation, I actually said that I don't think he should be blacklisted, especially right now, since it's an ongoing situation, and we don't know the facts. If he truly did what he did, I mean, yeah, then there's probably a possibility he's gonna get blacklisted, but at the same point in time, that's what happens when you jump the gun, and I just don't think people should jump the gun yet. I think we need to wait and let things play out, as I keep saying throughout this video and the video that I made originally, so I don't know where this lawyer is getting this from. Plus, too, I just feel really weird because... I'm not a humongous YouTube channel. I have 1,100 subscribers. It's not big when you talk about YouTube terms. So why am I one of the channels getting attacked for this? I'm not saying they should attack the bigger YouTube channels, but it just kind of feels like this is a, a power move. Like I'm getting threatened, and that's kind of harassment move in a way because you're you're forcing me or trying to get me to take down a video that is basically not harming anyone and is just me reporting on something with stuff that was already out there. So I don't see what the big problem is, but that statement just kind of got under my skin because, like, I never did that in my video. You can watch it for proof. It just seems like this is a scare tactic. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong in this case. I make sure that when I cover topics like that, that it's with an unbiased opinion. And I know some people may not like my take of like, let's just let everything play out before we start fully judging what's going on. But in situations like that, you have to, because if you say that they're guilty and they're not, well then, you know, obviously you're gonna get something like this, and if you say they're not guilty and they are, then you're gonna look bad because then you're supporting someone who's done something like this. And again, that's not what I'm saying with Percy at all. I'm just saying these situations are very hard to talk about because even when you go into it with an unbiased opinion, you still have people putting words in your mouth and basically saying, they said this and then all this stuff, and it's like, no, no I didn't. I was just basically reporting what was out there and the accusations that are being placed out there, but I never said that Percy was in custody or being taken in or being charged or even that he did this. Like I said, I don't know what happened. I wasn't there in any of those situations. It's just kind of a thing where this isn't any of my business. The legal system is, you know, going to take care of it, whether, you know, it's to find out that he's guilty or not guilty. 
and we can move on from there. It's just frankly the, you know, situation that I hope gets resolved as soon as it can for either Percy or the alleged victims in this case, but yeah, I'm not going to, you know, take that video down. It's not because it's like, oh, views or anything. I really can care less about that. It's more just, I like that video in a sense. It's me, you know, telling people like, Look, I know this situation's going on, I'm just telling you what we hear, but at the same point in time, let's not rush things. The main reason I made that video was to bring home the point of rushing to conclusions isn't going to get this anywhere further. We, we have to be patient and let things play out and then see where we're at after it all goes. That was my complete, complete intent, and of course, to get to my point, I had to talk about the situation at hand because that was the example I think we had at that point in time. So again, I hope that Michael or whatever your name is, yeah, Michael actually, you know, watched the video and didn't just kind of assume because someone told them that, hey, this person used Percy's name, so you, you, you should probably go after him because it doesn't sound good, the title doesn't sound good, when you can't judge YouTube videos by the title of the video, at least not all the time, but sometimes it's acceptable. So, yeah. The video's staying up, and I, you know, not that I don't apologize for making that video. There's probably some things I said in there that could be misconstrued, and again, for that, that's probably, you know, my mistake, and I do apologize for that. But, you know, it's more of an informative video, and I don't encourage anyone to send hate. I, I don't know how that video you can say, oh, he encouraged people to send hate, when I specifically say in that video that that's not what I want at all. <laughs> These are allegations. Nothing is set in stone right now, so just proceed with caution. If there's anybody making defamatory comments, it's you, Michael. It's you. That's it for me. Stay safe out there. Don't send hate to anybody that's mentioned in this video. And until then, I will catch you all in the next one.